Hello everyone and welcome to Better Minecraft Fabric Edition for 1.20 and if you haven't already make sure to check out my Forge review for the 1.20 Better Minecraft mod pack. The Fabric mod pack at the moment is a more complete pack because the mods for Fabric have already updated to 1.20. However, in the future Forge will eventually have more mods than Fabric as it usually happens because Forge is known to be much more popular for modding. Nevertheless, let's cover the better Minecraft fabric. The biomes in fabric are actually relatively limited in the early stages of the mod pack. All the biomes ago have not updated to 1.20 for fabric. There is only one mod that adds in true biomes to the overworld. Better End and Better Nether have been updated to 1.20 for fabric. Therefore, the Better End and the Better Nether will have those respective biomes and we'll cover those when we reach the End and Nether portions of the video. This is the Promenade mod which adds in a set amount of biomes to the game and these biomes are very lush and pretty which has their own set of particles and different tree variants. The biome total is around 5 to 6 biomes within this mod, but it also adds in mobs as well, which we'll cover in different sections. Because of how limited the biomes are right now, there's nothing much to cover right now, but expect more biomes in the future. There's also the importance of fabric seasons, which acts very similar to that of the Forge counterpart, in which there are now Minecraft seasons within this mod pack. The winter season makes it a bit of a gloomy setting, while the summer is very nice and vibrant, similar to that of the jungle biome. And of course, this also affects the weather conditions, which as you can see, it is now forming a snowy surface across this entire land. This mod pack has a plentiful amount of structure related mods, such as additional structures, explorify, when dungeons arise, repurpose structures, beekeepers hut, towns and towers, and bosses of mass destruction. Some of these structures are only there for the scenery and the lively feel of the Minecraft mod pack, while other structures might contain a lot of goodies among them and are very pleasant to see within the environment. Additional structures adds in an abundance of structures around the entire area, with majority of them being something as simple as a temple within the jungle forest, and to my recollection, it adds over a hundred different structures whether it's being very small or something as large as the temple. Towns and Towers is a little bit more specified where they added in specific things regarding pillagers and villagers, whether it's ships or structures on land. And this is one of them, which is a boat filled with pillagers. And off in the distance, as you can see, there are some villagers among a ship as well. Explorify is more similar to that of additional structures in which it adds in abundance of random structures around the land and through the nether and end dimensions as well. One of the more popular mods for dungeons is when dungeons arise as it adds in ridiculously large structures that appear across the land and are some of the biggest structures that you can possibly see within a Minecraft mod. Overall, when Dungeons Rise would be a very nice mod to have if you like dungeon exploration. And finally, the most popular of these structure mods is Repurpose Structures, and it is popular for its simplistic yet very amazing concept, where it reuses the existing structures of Minecraft and turns them into a whole new structure entirely. Whether it is desert temples across many different environments or the end city repurposed into a village. Nevertheless, that is it for majority of the structures within Better Minecraft. Now let's move on to the mobs. There are a lot of mods that contribute to the animals and other mobs within the Better Minecraft. And the prominent mod adds in capybaras among other animals as well. There are also guard villagers to protect villages and are not to be taken very lightly mainly because they have a very short temper if you do anything wrong in the village. In this are also the friends and foes mob, which adds in previous mob vote mobs alongside other mobs such as the beekeeper within the villages. There's also a mod that adds in the beekeeper's hut as I mentioned previously, so look for that within the villages. But the main animal mod or mob mod added to Minecraft is the Adventure Z mod, as it adds in a bunch of monsters and creatures from a variety of different fantasies and folklores and all that stuff 
and they are across multiple dimensions such as the nether and the end oh yeah and probably the most important mob added by the prominent mod is of course the duck as you can see it is quacking the nether is completely overhauled with better nether mobs and some structures from the previous aforementioned mods such as repurposed structures and when dungeons arise alongside a lot of other structures that comes with other mods dedicated to the nether. I expect more to be added to the nether along with other aspects of better minecraft but for now this is what we have and what we have is pretty awesome as the better nether itself is a good mod to overhaul the entire nether region. I mean take a look at this hydrogen jellyfish. It blows up when it dies but it's a amazing aspect within the better nether mod. Similar to that of the nether, the end has also been overhauled by a better mod, aka the better end mod. As you can see the towers have a unique design alongside the portal and the cages even have their own designated like end bar rather than the iron bar from the vanilla minecraft. If we go all the way off into the outer end, we're going to notice a whole slur. We're going to notice a whole string of new biomes. And as you can see here, we see a bunch of abundant and very vibrant biomes. Alongside these vibrant biomes are a little bit more gloomy biomes. But, you know, it's a nice balance of different biomes and different environments within the end. And they are so well done. Out of all of the biome mods, I'd say Better End offers some of the most interesting and intriguing biomes to Minecraft. Alright, so let's move on to uh, bosses. Let's go on to the eye. The eye is a eye. And when you kill the eye, it will grant you access to the Void Z boss. And the way to summon the eye within the end is to make a shrine using the dragon egg. So you do need to kill the dragon in order to summon the eye. And as soon as you make the shrine, the eye will summon. All right, there we go. Now you get a lot of experience from the eye and the eye will have a little bit of an animation. There we go. And so now it will spawn this little platform here and um, believe somehow it's going to have the void Z. Now, usually the portal would spawn because the Void Z mod is in this, but for some reason the portal did not actually spawn in. When it works for 1.20, a portal will spawn here, sending to the Void Z dimension, and you have to fight the Void Z boss. There is also bosses of mass destruction, and each dimension, the Nether, Overworld, and the End, have their own sets of boss of mass destruction. For example, this one right here, it's an obsidian altar. Okay, so we put an eye inside here. And out comes the obsidian lith. Basically, it's like an obelisk, but obsidian. So, ob obsidian lith. And there is a boss within the nether and the overworld known as the lich and the hand, I believe. So, go around the end and go around the overworld and the nether to find these different bosses. And you get pretty interesting crafting materials from them. Now, this mod is in beta, so don't expect this mod to be fully perfected at the moment. And I believe this boss has three stages to it along with the other bosses. So go fight them yourself and make sure to reap the rewards that you get from these individual bosses. Overall, that is it for majority of the mods within this mod pack. Some additional mods would be the nicer sky mod, which as you can see, it adds more of a beautiful sky texture, sky box to your in Minecraft world. There's also supplementaries, which adds more blocks to your game. Winter League, which adds in more of a winterish theme to it, more of a Christmas theme to it as well. There is also the carrier mod, which allows you to carry chests, spawners, and other stuff at the cost of hunger and slowness. And that is it for this mod pack. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care and goodbye.